What's going on guys, this is Burrs, and today we're gonna to talk about the Tenacore Sertum Lux holster. This is for my TLR7 uh, light here on my Glock 19, as you can see. Been using this for a few months now. You've seen it in other videos, of course, in my concealed carry series, like back to concealed carry series. Uh, you've seen this in there, and this is the one I rolled with for a really long time, and I feel as though I have enough time with it and enough training with it that I can give you a review. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now the one thing I like about Tenacore is they're really simple in their mindset. They don't try to put too many bells and whistles on their stuff. And an example of that are these two other ones I have here. And you can see with other holsters that this little back part that kind of puffs out a little bit, that takes the holster and pushes it in towards your gut a little bit more. On theirs, they have it molded into the holster. Whereas some other ones, you gotta bolt on some parts, or you gotta, you know, put some Velcro or something on, stick something on the back. And I like that about Tenacore where they kind of think outside the box a little bit with how they construct their holsters. Now at this Sertum Lux holster, it's really simple. You got two discrete carry concepts, clips. These are metal. And a lot of people will say, oh, you know, I don't want to have plastic ones. Like here's a, uh, a competitor uh, right here. This is tier one and you can see they got plastic clips they come up real easy so if you're in some sort of a combative environment and someone takes you to the ground or something this is definitely going to stay on your belt whereas some other ones won't so i like the fact that they're using nice uh, carry clips and they have for the claw if you will some other places use a claw where it comes out and up but this part when it pushes against your belt, it pushes the grip of the gun. And as you can see here, there's nothing in the chamber there. Safe direction. Um, when you have the gun in here, this right here pushes against your belt and it'll push the grip in towards you. So I like the fact, fact that they're using a real simple, you know, unobtrusive. You can kind of see some other ones here. This is tier one. You can see they have this big honking thing on the side. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it is a little, you know, big. And this one here, this is adding a lot of bulk on this uh, TXC holsters. Um, I like the design and everything, but it just, it's a little bulky, adds a little weight. This one's real simple. Just a simple part here that goes where something already was gonna go, uh, as far as connection goes. And, uh, you know, it works really well, it's not, this huge bulky thing and I like that. As far as the profile goes, let's take a look at some other ones. These are also TLR7 holsters and you can see that compared to all of them, this one is by far the smallest profile. And the one thing I like is the sights in here are not, the sight channel is not huge. On some guns, what you'll see, on some holsters, what you'll see is that sight channel is just ridiculously tall compared to what it has to be. Kind of like this one right here. It's just ridiculously tall. You don't need to have it that tall or wide. And I like that with the Tenacore, you don't have a ton of space. You have space in there, but you don't have some, you know, extra space you don't need to uh, to have in that holster. Now, one nice thing with the clips, you can move them up and down. So this actually um, has areas here we can move it up and down for the ride height. I like to have mine up about as far as it can go, which means that it's gonna go down in your pants as far as it can go. The further down you move the clip, the further up the grip is going to go. That makes sense. <laughs> so now let's take a close look at the Sertum Lux holster. Really great craftsmanship. You know, nice rounded edges, nothing crazy. You know, just nice craftsmanship, done well, you know. Nothing too much to speak of because there's nothing too much here which is great. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what Tenacore is doing. As far as, you know, fit and finish, it goes in there. You can hear it has a little bit of a click. You know, it's not too much to it. It's a very simple design. The one thing I will change at some point is I'm gonna cut this straight across. I hate having a shield uh, up here, but besides that, I really can't say too much. It's a super simple design. It works and you definitely get your money's worth. I saw Tenacore long time ago, Kyle DeFore and uh, DeFore Performance, saw him talking about Tenacore and I was living in Maryland at the time, couldn't conceal carry because I got stupid laws, but 
after moving back to Pennsylvania, I thought, you know, I really want to try Tenacore out. So I went ahead and uh, got this holster for the TLR 7 with a Glock 19 setup. And I've really been happy with it. And I don't think you can go wrong. Um, there's some other ones that I do have that I would say, mm, I don't know if you want to go with that one. But with this one, you can't go wrong. If you get it, I don't think you're going to hate it. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have Tenacore products, go ahead and put that in the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later.